So behind me we have a garden shed slash greenhouse that belongs to some friends of mine. It doesn't have any power, but they could definitely use some. So today we're going to install a complete off-grid system. I'm talking solar, batteries, inverters, solar charge controller, everything you need to go from having no power Turn on. to having some completely off-grid. This situation where you have an outdoor building that's not connected to power, could be a workshop, a playhouse, a greenhouse, it's pretty common. So what do you do to get power? Well, an off-grid power system can be a great option, especially like here where we have a sunny location and the power needs are pretty modest. So this is inside the shed slash greenhouse. Pretty nice spot actually. It's completely waterproof and everything. And this wall right here is where we're gonna put, and put the board with all the equipment. Now Renegy sent me this kit to test out and I thought it would be perfect for the situation. It takes any guesswork out of trying to figure out a compatible system yourself. You know it's going to work. And in the description, I have substantial discount codes for everything. This is the Craftsman kit, and we've got four 100 watts solar panels, a 40 amp MPPT solar charge controller, two 12 volt 2400 watt hour lithium iron phosphate batteries, a 12 volt 3000 watt pure sign inverter. It also comes with various accessories. So primarily they use this for storage, for their stuff, for their garden. I know they want to do seedlings in here too, but we need grow lights. We also have lights in the garden, which will be powered through here. It also gets hot in here, so fans would be a nice addition. Okay, so here we have the solar panels laid out that are going to go on the roof. Now, how do you connect them together, right? So we have, you know, positive and negative coming off of each panel. And we have these combiner connections here. So basically we have plus and minus connecting there, plus and minus connecting there. So we basically have two panels now, right? We have a 2S2P situation. So what we're left with are two wires coming off of these two panels, one positive and one negative. And here we have two 15 amp fuses, one for each line. 46.3 volts for two panels testing them. The voltage would be the same. Oh yeah. This is open circuit. Yeah. Okay, so we have brackets and you can connect these at various holes. So right now we have four brackets installed on each panel. Now this roof is actually pretty high up, but it should be a perfect fit for these panels to get on here. And this area gets quite a, a lot of sun too, which is why their garden is doing so well. Now, obviously connecting everything correctly is important. So it's a good idea to first do a dry run on the ground, label everything to make it easier once you're up there, because it's definitely more confusing when you're on that ladder trying to figure out which wire goes where. Okay, so we have the wire coming in from the inside. We're gonna test now if it's gonna reach to the solar connection. Good, good, good. Cool. The question is, is the other one. So, to make everything easier, we have already assembled everything and tested everything and put it onto a piece of plywood. Basically, everything funnels into the combiner box. So that keeps things nice and neat. And this right here is where we're gonna put the board. We've got a metal rack, perfect spot for the batteries, which are, you know, heavy. And then we'll connect everything together and connect it to the solar panels above. Okay, we got it up on the wall. Currently doing a test. Why are going out there to the solar panels? Okay, so we got 13.4 volts. So okay, so currently we have the equipment on the wall. We have the batteries. We have the combiner box right here. And everything is connected inside here, so nothing is exposed. So under the shield here, we have the Bluetooth module. So this is basically positive and negative bus bars. So let's take a look at the, what we've got here, right? So inside the combiner box, we have different size wires because uh, the different wires hold different amount of currents, right? Power coming in from the solar panels going into the solar charge controller right here. So power going into the bus bars. From here, we have big wires going into the batteries. So power being stored into the batteries. And then from here, we're also having power going out of the system into the inverter. So if you wanna charge or use power things up, you plug it into the inverter. 
And that's basically the flow of power. Okay, so you got them all. Yeah. Cool. Good to go. That heater. Okay, there we go. We Turn on. Boom. Solar. Go. Solar coming in. Good. Oh, cool. 15.7, that's kind of high, it's pretty good. Okay, so we just did a test, 186 watts coming in right now, and the sun is just about to go at 618 in the e evening. The heater. Heater. So we have your... power coming out yeah. of the batteries because we are running a heater in this really hot place. 31, 31 degrees. Celsius. Celsius, yeah. yeah. 97. I was wondering if this place would get too hot for the batteries. However, these are smart batteries, and according to the manual, the charge temperature goes all the way up to 131 degrees Fahrenheit, discharge to 140, and storage to 149. So, I think we're good. Plus, since the batteries are smart, they have all sorts of protections and alerts built in to keep them from overheating. And in the freezing winter, they can automatically heat up even with low currents. Their Craftsman kit comes with the Core 200 series battery. They actually sent me an alternative because it was unavailable in their warehouse at the time. You can see we tape the connections of all the batteries. That again is just so you don't accidentally touch you know, two connections at the same time with a metal screwdriver or something. The positive and negative connecting the batteries together. And the reason why we're using two wires on each one here is instead of using one thicker wire. Next day here and we have everything installed, solar panels on the roof, batteries, everything is coming in and so now we'll see how well the system is gonna do. We laser engraved some labels here, solar panel shut off and battery shut off, keeps everything nice and organized. Thanks so much for watching guys, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and we'll see you guys soon. Also if you're interested in any of these systems don't forget to check out the discount codes in the description.